I'm joined by Emmett Smith here, the hand engraver at the All England Club. Your job's pretty important, isn't it? Making sure all the names are just perfect on every trophy here at Wimbledon. How do you manage that? Um, with the help of some of my colleagues here, but it's the spell checker I need. Because um, as hand engravers, you focus on each letter carving that rather than reading the whole word. So I have two or three people doing a spell check for me. And where do you get all the names from? Is there an order of play that you have to read to make it just perfect? Yes, there is, yeah. Make sure I don't get things muddled up. Shelley helps me there. So. <laughs> and hand engraving, just talk me through how difficult that is because I think people assume it's done by machine these days. How do you actually go about perfecting that as an art? Well, we draw it on by hand mm -hmm. and then we have essentially what are just handheld chisels and the metal's soft enough for us to push that through the metal. And... Um, that's it. It's very simple tools, no machinery, um, so it's quite a slow process. So, but there is a risk of slipping, and yeah. Have you got the chisel that you can show me behind here? And how yeah. do you make the font the same? Is it a specific chisel? Yeah, is for a specific do font? Different things. Um, the fo the font styles is you know something we've drawn hundreds, thousands of times, so we know we're confident with that. We always get the year right, and um, yeah, so these are the things we use. Absolutely. Let's just run through what's behind you here, because it looks like a lot of trophies. It's not just the men's and ladies' singles trophies that you have to engrave, is it? How many do you have to do throughout the championships? Oh, it feels like hundreds, but probably, I'd say, uh, 50 to 60 trophies we're doing over the, over the course of two, two, three days. And why is there so many? Because there's not that many titles that are given out at Wimbledon. Well, there's all the runners-up. Um, so winners and losers get them and um, doubles so you know there's, there's four trophies right there uh, and there seems to be more and more competitions uh, each year uh, and obviously the winners can't take the most important trophies home which are just over here which let's just walk around and see these there's a lot of people in here this is the room where it all happens and obviously here we have the singles men yeah. and women's trophy and if we look down here I'm not sure you can see we already have the winner from yesterday, Garbina Muguruza there. Was that you that put yes. her name on that? Yeah, I had the honour of doing that one, yeah. And how long does it take you to engrave that name after the winner has been announced? I can probably get that done in 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, and this is a new plinth, so um, it's much easier to do than the, than the plate. The plate was uh, quite a job to do. Because this plinth was put on, obviously, only last year yeah, yeah. when Serena won, because actually you were engraving nice. on the outside there. Yes, yeah, on, the, on a very tight curve, so it's, it's a very good chance I could have slipped. Never did, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, it was nerve-wracking. And which out of all the trophies is the most difficult to engrave? The, the, the plate was, um, but now anything that's on a curve is, is very tricky. The plates, uh, flat plates, salvers, they're, they're quite easy. And how do you get a job engraving here at the All England Club? Because it's a pretty prestigious job title to have, isn't it? Yeah, well, I had, um, through my business, had uh, strong connections with Roman, who's the, the hand engraver before me. So he was getting on a bit, and I don't think his vintage car would last much longer. So, um, yeah, they brought me in, and we worked together for a couple of years, and we did a handover, and now I'm... I'm here with, with a couple of my guys.